We're just piddling a little bit this afternoon. Saturday afternoon. We're here by my dog pens by Tater. There's Tater and Sadie. I'm not sure when the camera runs, you're probably gonna hear them barking. But uh what's happening here is is this kind of stands in water right here a little bit. And I'm gonna take the bucket, I'm gonna attempt to rake it down through here and kind of take some of this dirt, a little bit of this dirt out, a few inches of it out. And I'm gonna come in on the other way on us on top of that over the top of that spigot right there and get it back this way. Then I'm gonna backfill it with some uh, like some number 57 limestone right there. I got piled over there. Shh. They know, man. They know. They know. So Sadie, she's in her doghouse over there. She don't. She's not crazy about the lawnmower or anything equipment wise when it gets so close she gets a little skittish and tater does too he's acting like he's a bad boy right now but he's actually not when i crank the mini up he'll be gone too so uh we're gonna we're gonna do this real quick it shouldn't take but a second to do this probably all right Got all these braces that are coming off right there. See, like that one right there. I'm about to hit it. And they're in the way. So you gotta, I'm gonna have to stretch the boom back out. I'm gonna track out that away there to be able to finish that little cut right there.
ain't as good as I'd like it, but I can't really work the uh, the bucket up like I, or the boom up like I really want to to be able to get it. But I got the grass scraped out. That's the biggest thing I want to do. Now I can come in with the with the rock and come in from the sides and get it in there. I'm not sure I'll get it spread out. I'll work it and see if I can spread it pretty good, but I'll probably end up having to get in there with a the shovel and do some of it here and uh, mess with it. Get that big old uh, grub worm right there. Look at that dude. The big one. The little fish would like to eat that thing right there. Hey. Now I'm gonna rake this out. Uh, that's where my electrical comes up at right there on that post and then the water spigot's right there too. I'm gonna e try to ease that out right there. They're pretty good right there and get that dressed on up a little bit more turn around there with the shovel uh, so if you're ever messing with a machine whether it's a little excavator or backhoe or any piece of equipment and you're renting it you're borrowing it or anything man a little word of the wise and i have i have done this many many times and tore up some stuff it's real easy to get focused on your bucket what you're doing down there and forget about what's up above on your stick and your boom up there and fool around and stick it into something that you don't need to be sticking it into and uh and what's hard hard not to do to to uh just line up your sights on that and forget about the rest of it or forget about your swing or anything like that it's, boy when you hit it you can tear up some stuff there we go what's funny is sadie will jump on a raccoon in a New York second, I'm talking about, and battle that son of a gun until she wipes him out. But she is scared to death of that of that mini. I just got her to come out of her uh, out of her house there <laughs> and watch her. She'll go back in. She's a good dog. She is a sweetheart. I mean, you're a sweetheart, aren't you? Huh? Aren't you? Yes, you it's are. Tater. Come here, come here, Tater. These are uh, Jag Terriers, is what these are. Yeah. I, li I like the little dogs. I like them. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to try to put this rock down in here gently. I'm not hitting anything again.
so uh, every now and then things will kind of work out a lot better than uh, what you think it will or what I think it will <laughs> I was I was expecting having to do some uh, show work but that worked pretty good taking the bucket and just tracking the machine back man it laid it in there nice that's about four inches which is up about the oh well, that's perfect right there that ought to be a lot better now I'll kind of walk that in so not even a that was a scoop one whole scoop so I don't need a but a half a scoop for the outside I'm gonna come back over here too on the outside I'm gonna put a run I'm gonna put a layer down over here also because uh it's kind of give you something to ramp on or step out of the vehicle or ranger and step on something good and solid right there So I throw the uh, Skidster Quick Attach Flate on the Mini. This is the first time I've used it. You can see it right there. And that's the loader bucket that goes on my tractor. It's a six foot wide bucket. I got it slap full of uh, like crushing, rock, crushing run limestone there. Some of that stuff from Cure that I got from uh, Brian out there. And we're gonna put it down right here and spread it now that situation right there works really good the machine handles it fine even with it slap full of uh, material right there no problem whatsoever not even trying to tip or anything but uh it's just getting used to it being backwards because the bucket is on the outside of the stick and still on the inside of the stick so it's a little bit different to uh get to get it right you know what i mean so i'm gonna let y'all watch me mess with it here and see see how many times i go the wrong way with it
little six foot bucket did pretty good i mean it's really not uh it's eh, it's a little bit to kind of get used to it but i mean just a few scoops i mean you kind of get the feel of it and don't be going backwards with it but so uh here she is i like that got that now i want when it's pouring down raining i won't be uh standing in ankle deep water down here and have to wear my rubber boots in here but I like how that turned out though it slicked it up good too i mean very very nice that quick attach plate's gonna be sweet to do i do have to do a little bit of modifying on it they didn't make it when i had them make it for me it need to be a little bit wider you heard that sound it was making us from where it didn't fit tight in the bucket and i can take that out no problem so i'm gonna do it just a little bit of fine tuning on it like that and it'll be great so uh i mean like if you were going to be backfilling a ditch with like a, a french drain you were going to be putting a rock in it and you had your pile right there pretty close by you know where you didn't have to track too far or anything like that well you could throw that thing on and and you could cover a lot of ground pretty quick with that six foot wide bucket on there or even you could run a seven foot on there and dude i was uh it got me how stable the machine was even loaded all the way down with that rock and in that six foot bucket and then i took and lifted that bucket all the way up and you know a normal tractor you're looking at uh like on 5075 or 5065 or something like that you're looking at about a 10 foot plus lift shoot man you could you can get on up there with that thing I, I reached it all the way up and it went way way on way on up there so you could with some forks or something you could probably if, you know you wouldn't want to lift something heavy up but i mean you could get way up there like if you're filling with shooting houses or stacking hay with a dang bell spear or anything like that so anything that'll go on the front of a skid steer will now go on my mini excavator and i mean why not you got a machine there this you know you know an expensive machine make it even more multi-purpose than it is i can put my hydraulic digger on there you can rent a multitude of attachments for it to go on a skid steer you can put on it now so i mean why not so you remember uh in sunny's video i said get ready for the giveaways was going to be doing a bunch of them uh, this happens to be my birthday month, May, and uh, so I'm going to give to y'all what I'm going to do. So I've got me a Kubota cat right here. I'd really appreciate it if you were a subscriber to win, but you don't have to be a subscriber, so I'm not going to do that. And just all you got to do is comment down below, and I'll pick a winner tonight for this Kubota cat. It's uh, brand new, very nice camouflage cat. I have an endless supply of cats too, by the way, to give away, so uh flip on over there to instagram there'll be another giveaway on instagram also today too so i'll gather all the giveaway stuff up as everybody gets them and jill and i'll ship them one day this week and get them gone but appreciate y'all uh hanging in there watching we'll be logging uh today running so just comment down below what you need to do over on instagram look me up on instagram cotton top three there also and uh follow me there i sure appreciate it so uh we'll catch y'all later later Tony. all right y'all cooking with cotton tops this evening we got cavender's uh wings on this side and we got barbecue rub wings on this side we got them rolling on the uh pit balls sitting on 350 degrees we're gonna close them up i'm also gonna do some uh fries over here in the deep dish on the burner side in a little bit God dog, it smells dang good. Goodness gracious, alive, boys and girls. Let me move my cabiners. There's the barbecue. There's the homemade fries right there. As you'll do some uh, cheesy bread right quick. We got some salad over there. So, we got the leftover camp house. That's right, yeah. I went ahead and we got some leftover potatoes in the microwave too there.